Tori here from ToriToth.com, the place to be to create a home buyers will find irresistible. So sellers ask me all the time, what should they do with their clutter and extra items not being used for the home staging? And really, it depends if it's of use to you and your family anymore. And if you can still use the items but not during the showings, then I suggest get packing. But what if you don't need the items anymore? Then I say throw a yard sale to try and make a few extra bucks because we all know someone else's trash is another's treasure. I was recently a part of a successful yard sale and here are a few tips to keep in mind when you're ready to set up shop in your yard because it's hard work. Go through your entire house a few weeks before your sale and start putting aside items you will be selling. Put like items together and keep the items organized but out of the way of daily life. This may be a great time too to price each item as well. In order to have a successful sale, you need shoppers, so advertising is key. Try putting a classified ad in your local newspaper and see if they have a community calendar section where you can add the events. Use the internet, post ads in your local Craigslist under the garage sale category, which is under the sales section. Also post on local community websites, forums, and groups. A lot of our foot traffic came from our local Facebook groups, so make sure to do some research first. While posting colorful signs on telephone poles is great advertisement, there are laws prohibiting this in many areas. So check in to see what local laws are in your area about holding and advertising yard sales. It's also nice to know what other sales are going on in the same day so you can direct customers to your sale. Don't hold a yard sale during major holiday weekends. And if you have a lot of stuff to sell, try having a two-day sale. And make sure where you're holding the sale is cleaned up. For example, if you're having it on the grass, make sure it's cut. Set up the night before and an early morning so you're ready for the early birds and use a combination of tables, bins, and boxes and take your time to display things so buyers know exactly what you're selling. And display interesting stuff close to the curb to attract those customers. Also, make sure you have enough change to break big bills and recruit family or friends to help customers and keep an eye out for thieves. You also want to remember to keep windows and doors of your house locked. One final thought, have fun. Put background music on, be friendly to the customers, and help them help you make a sale. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and go subscribe to our channel. For more home staging tips to get you one step closer to the closing table, be sure to visit us at www.toritoth.com and make sure to go check out our free home staging video series. I've attached the link below. Happy selling! Mm -hmm.